good evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? It's Friday night. Yay! Weekend is here. Yeah! I don't know any songs to go with that. No, no songs. No, I don't. I can't recall any songs for Friday night. Never mind. Anyway, so this evening I am going to be doing an unboxing. It's one of my boxes for February and it is the Rocker Box. So the Rocker Box is a monthly beauty subscription box. You will get um, sort of five, six full size items inside the box. Sometimes you'll get a, um, a treat that you can eat or drink. So occasionally we do get that inside the box. The box now costs, how much does it cost? The box now costs 15 pounds plus three pound 95 postage and packaging so 18 pound 95 in total it went up um, in price last autumn from 10 pounds um, 13 pound 95 in total to 18 pound 95 so it is a, a bit of a jump five pound increase um, and I think I'm still in the stage to see is it worth it is it worth my money so 19 pound 95 is what I'm looking at and I'm looking to see if I think the box is worth it. So before I go into this month's box, let's have a quick review of how I got on with January's box. So in January, in January we got five items plus a treat. So the treat was from a brand called Coco Natural and it was a coconut flavoured drink. I didn't try it. I, you know what, I still think it's in the fridge. No one seems to be going towards it no one seems to want it it's just not the kind of thing we drink in this household and nobody's even interested interested enough to even try it so 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 it's still there um i do give points to items in the boxes i should say so if it's something i'm going to use or i have used and i've really liked it i'll give it a score of one if it's something that i'm not sure about but i'm going to give it a try I'll give it a half or if if it's something that I may not use it myself but I may give it to a member of my family um, or a close friend I'll give it a half if it's something that I'm not interested in so I have no desire for it or it's not something suitable for me as, as in color complexion or whatever it is or type of product then I'll give it a zero then what I'll do with the products that i am decided I'm not going to keep I will put them in one of two boxes so I'm each month I'm going to have two boxes going so I'm going to have one box which I'm going to be giving away so again the, the boxes will contain items I've received during the month so one box will be a box of products I'm giving away and the other, the other box will be a beauty bundle which I will sell at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month so I have for the January one I've got my January winner already so that was Tony Cunliffe congratulations got in touch with me he got the box for his fiance and so that box is going to him and my box which I'm selling I am going to be doing a little video on Sunday where I will announce the winner and I'm doing this by a raffle so as it is I posted a video earlier on today today is Friday evening and in that video it's just about I think the video is titled how I will be selling my my sale box so that's the video if you want to enter my raffle you need to make sure you are a subscriber to my channel so that's really really important because if you're not a subscriber and I can't see that you're a subscriber then you won't be eligible to enter my my sale my raffle on Sunday so you need to be a public subscriber if you're not sure go to your settings click the the privacy settings if it's on green that means your privacy is on so you need to turn it off so it's on grey and then that sh will show me that you are a public subscriber so if I just click on your name I can see that you are a subscriber to my channel it just makes it a lot easier for me rather than having to go through three and a half thousand names trying to find a particular name so if you do that that would be great so if you want to enter my raffle I'll, I'll assign you a number as of now I think I've, I'm on to number seven so seven people have shown interest they've got a number and on Sunday I will just put all the numbers in a little bag pot or something shake it out and I'll pull out a number and that person will win when the person when I've pulled out that person's number they will need to get in touch with me on Instagram. So to direct message me on Instagram, give me their contact details. I'll request them to send me the payment and then I'll post the box out to them next week. 
Right, that's it. So that's literally how I am doing my my sale box. But let me just get back to this. I went off on a tangent as per usual. So that was I did the first item in the box last month and that was a treat. No one's used it, I've got a zero. On to the actual products now, the beauty products in the box. The next item was from Paradox and it was a repair cream. It, it was a Radox repair game changer so this is like a leave-in mask or leave-in cream that's how we've used it so i did use it initially i used it once or twice and then the tin disappeared and you know where it disappeared to it went into my daughter's room i haven't seen it since so i know it's been used so no issues there it gets a score of one next product was from capria which is a brand i've never heard of before and it was a vitamin um a vitamin e and niacinamide serum so i have been using that i've been using that every morning um since i got it really so i've been using it every morning so after i've washed my face toned my face then i put on the, the niacinamide and then i'll put on whatever moisturizer i'm using that day haven't really seen any differences i don't think i haven't noticed anything um i mean I have, my makeup is practically faded really on my face um i haven't really noticed anything i'll have i need to have a proper look again tomorrow morning just to see or when i take my makeup off and then i'll have a proper look again because it might have been making changes i just it, it's probably been so gradual i may not have noticed so i'll have a proper look tomorrow and see but it's a very light serum so it's not greasy and feel which is all good because i've got very very oily skin and anything that is heavy i tend not to use in the daytime i'll use all the more heavier products or heavy products for me i'll use those at night so i found the serum very light as i said i haven't really seen the benefits of it yet well i haven't noticed any benefits and i've been using it for about three weeks so far so so i'll continue to use it and i'm giving it a score of one next product was from oskia and it was a renaissance gentle no it was a renaissance cleansing gel i really enjoyed using that i've finished the whole thing so i use that every day um i was tend to use that in the morning so when i first started using it i was using it as my second cleanse at night time so i do it sort of double cleansing at night time so i'll use an oil um use an oil to lift off my makeup rinse that off and then i'll go in with a sort of a gel wash of some sort or a foaming face wash and do that second cleanse it's i don't know if it's good enough to really get rid of all of the, that makeup on my face so what i've been doing i've been using it in the mornings instead and it's a it's for me it's a very nice face wash in the morning it is gentle it doesn't strip my skin so it doesn't leave my skin feeling really dry and horrible it's just a very nice gentle face wash in the morning so i've had no issues with using it in the mornings for me this is my tip that's for me because i've got very oily skin and i do tend to wear makeup each day so for me it's a nice morning wash so more than happy with it i use the whole tube it's already in my trash bag already so that was all good so that got a score of one um next product was from groom and it was a, a very affordable i think it was a gentle moisturizer face moisturizer again haven't seen it in my daughter's room because i know i saw it in my daughter's room so she's using it so score of one again and the next product was from Amelia Wright and that's the transformation or transforming body lotion and that's a really rich moisturizer really good if you've got very dry skin it's a fantastic product without sort of having to go to all sort of hydrocortisone or anything like that it's a good moisturizing product so you know sometimes they um if you go to the gps they will recommend um what's it called is it deep eight or something like that dipper base they'd give you dipper base they might recommend or e45 i actually think this product is better than those because those ones are very much water-based this is more rich and it really is hydrating i use it as i've been using it as a hand cream uh, and my daughter's been using it just to sort of um supplement her uh, 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 products on her hand because my daughter has eczema particularly on her hands sometimes and she you knows especially in this cold weather she does a lot of hand washing because she's she does a lot of art so she's always dipping her dipping her hands in various paints and things and all sorts of things going on so she does use the product 
she's not using her hydrocortisone cream she'll use that just to sort of really moisturize and soften her skin to stop it from feeling tight and just to feel comfortable and to moisturize reduce that inflammation on the skin so it's that good of a product so i really really like that brand of product so that was a winning product again in our household so that's called a one so all in all um yeah everything apart from the drink score to score so out of six products i've got a five out of six it was a really good box last month right let's see how february box will do there was no makeup in the box in january but i noticed that a lot of the january boxes were very much about reset refresh you know new you all that kind of thing for for january so this is the rocker box for february this is what it looks like and you sort of open it up like that it's all very fancy let's open it up okay so that's what it's looking like okay let's see what we got this month mm, there's a bit of a scent coming through so we've got February, so again I'm thinking Valentine's, because that's what I tend to think about, don't they? Valentine's, self-love, self-care, all that sort of thing. So I'm expecting lots of very girly things and romantic things, lots of pink and red and all that sort of thing. So we have got Rockerbox, Perfect Night's Sleep. Oh, okay, that's the theme. So it says here, oh, the perfect night's sleep, it's something we all strive for. We know it has serious benefits to our health and well-being not to mention our skin but all too often getting that perfect perfect eight hours or whatever it is that works best for you for your body so so we've got here perfect night's sleep ah the perfect night's sleep it's something we all strive for we know it has serious benefits to our health and well-being not to mention our skin but all too often getting that perfect eight hours or whatever it is that works best for your body we're all different is an elusive task sometimes the issue is external your sleeping environment for example and often it's internal sometimes it's a physical concern usually it's mental and frequently it's a combination of the two so while we are in no way implying that a selection of beauty products can tackle full-blown insomnia we are confident that certain beauty and wellness products contain ingredients that do noticeably enhance the quality of our sleep or effectively improve our ability to fall asleep okay so going on here, here's lots of different things here so they're basically saying this box is worth over 71 pound 50 so if you remember this box is costing me 18 pound 95 so i am looking for um oh, what's double 36 30 37 isn't it so I'm looking for value in the items that I'm going to be using. I'm looking for, let's say, £37 in value, the products that I want to use for this box to be of value to me. So let's just crack on and see. I don't want to keep on reading. But it looks like it's going to be another box of no makeup. It looks like it's going to be all skincare stuff again. And I actually do want makeup. I like makeup products. So let's see what we've got. We've got another leaflet here of that cocoa stuff, which we got last month, which nobody seems to like. I'm just going to pull stuff out. So the first thing we've got here is from Beauty Pro. Well, Beauty Pro is a brand I associate with sheet masks, face sheet masks. And we've got Retinol, Overnight Serum with Sea Kelp and Pine Oil, Anti-Aging Plant Science, Calming, Anti-Aging, Detoxifying. So they're saying how to use it. A um, couple of drops in the evening. Do your cleanser, toner, and then you use your retinol serum and then a sheet mask once a week. So that's what the box looks like. Okay. So that's what it looks like. See that? So what they're saying here, Beauty Pro Retinol 1% Overnight Serum. This overnight plant-based formula is enriched with ocean retinol, seaweed kelp complex, and organic pine oil to improve the condition of your skin, leaving it looking notice noticeably rejuvenated, more even skin tone and smoother. With just a few nights use and the visibly reduced signs of aging, less pigmentation and less blemishes over time with more regular use. 
and it's um it's only 15 pounds so that's not a bad price at all okay i didn't know um beauty pro doing products like this i thought they were literally just sheet masks and that was it okay interesting i'll give it a go i'll see right let's pull out something else here what do we have here we have here oh this is something i won't be using this is from skin and tonic and it's a slow down bath soak so i won't be using that i'm a shower person so this is not for me i'll see if my daughter wants to use it if she doesn't want to use it then it will go into either my giveaway box or my sale box so this is a soak away a stressful day with this restorative soak inspired by the Japanese ritual of forest bathing. Soak up the healing powers of the forest with an invigorating blend of cedarwood, eucalyptus and rosemary oils. While mineral rich Epsom salts will detoxify you and boost magnesium levels key to relaxing muscles and inducing sleep. Um, natural CBD from upcycled whole hemp no less will rebalance your body and calm your mind. The perfect tonic to help you slow down and breathe and let go of your busy day. Um, recommended retail price is £9 and this is a full size product as well. I'm going to see if my daughter wants that but that's not for me so that's going to get a score of half because it's, it's just not for me. Right what else we got here? This is um wheel de perfume and it's a body oil oh it's not that paul yakamine again oh god not this again we got something from them the other day which was supposed to be like a hair oil so this one is like a, a body oil um i wasn't that impressed with the hair oil one but we'll see what this one is so this is paul yakamine body oil there's something there's something so inherently calming about massaging a luxury body oil over your body post bath and pre-hitting the hay. Slava this deliciously deluxe body oil that combines soothing tropical floral notes of ylang ylang, bergamot and mandarin essential oils with hydrating and collagen boosting rosehip oil and omega-7 fatty acid, rich macadamia nut oil for a skin boosting treat that will nourish, hydrate and replenish your body as you sleep. The addition of bergamot oil, a natural cleanser that helps unclog pores and balance sebum levels, means you don't need to worry about the oil blocking your pores if you sweat in your sleep. A true beauty sleep enhancer. And this is full size and it's £32. So again, this is something... Would I use this? Again, I don't have baths, but I could you sort of put this all over my body at night time. Or I just leave it in the bathroom for whoever uses it after the bath. Not that keen on that product as well, and that's probably like a high-end product as well, 32 quid. So I'm going to give that a half as well, because I, I can't see me using that, to be honest. And the way how this is made, it's not really practical, because you see this, this is like, you've got to pull it. So it's like you open a can of Coke or something. And then once you've pulled it, that's it. You know, you can't sort of reseal it back. It has like a sort of a plastic cork looking thing which you can put back in a seal. But mm, It's all style over substance in my opinion. But there you go. Right, okay. I'm not that impressed with this box so far, I must admit. What we've got here. This is from, oh, these people I do like. This is from Feather and Down. And this is a Sweet Dreams Pillow Spray. This I don't mind. I don't mind this at all. So Feather and Down, Sweet Dreams Pillow Spray. And this is 83% of testers fell asleep quicker than usual after using this pillow spray. I do find that it works. I don't know why. I prefer this than, than the This Works one, which is more expensive. I find this one more effective. Don't know how it works, but it does work. Um, so yeah, 83% of testers fell asleep quicker than usual after using this pillow spray, including us. Spritz the streaming mist over your pillow, duvet, bed, bed linen, even your pajamas, and let its calming infusion of lavender and chamomile essential oils get to work, reducing your anxious mind, calming your nerves, and creating a restful atmosphere to help you drift off. This is a full size, and it's only three pound fifty. There you go. So I'll be keeping that because I'll definitely use that. And the final product, I think. Yeah, I think this is the final product. 
is from Murad, I believe, and it's the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I've got a couple of these already. I've got the full size of these. So I've got at least two of these full size. So this is from Murad. AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. This particular cleanser will totally transform dull skin so you'll wake up to a brighter, smoother, more radiant and visibly luminous complexion. A trio of skin refining acids, salicylic, glycolic, lactic, unclogs pores, sheds dull skin, build up, encourages cell turnover and renews your skin while jojoba beads gently buff and polish. While this can be used on a morning, its benefits are amplified when used overnight and it's an effective way of getting rid of, of every last trace of the day's makeup, grime and SPF. Plus, when you've worked so hard to clear your complexion, it's a shame to then cover it straight up with makeup. Exactly. So this travel size is worth £12. Right, this I will probably keep i don't know i think i will probably keep it because i do use my products and i've got two of these as i said full size upstairs um i don't know if i'm going to keep this one let me check the let me check the status of my cleanses and things upstairs and i'll decide if i'm going to keep this or put this in one of my giveaway boxes or my sale box i'm not sure so at the moment i'm going to give this a half because i'm not quite sure where it's going but overall, this box, it's not doing it for me. It really isn't. It's not that exciting at all. Oh dear. 19 quid as well. So the two products that I'm happy to use, um, we've got this which is worth £15. And oh, no, this is worth £3 and this is worth £15. So the only things I'm interested in are £18.50. So you know, not even covering the price of the box, which is £18.95. Um, and I look for double the value. Not sure about this. Not sure about this at all. Um, definitely not sure about that. Um, because I don't do baths. I'm a shower person. And the bath salts I won't be using at all. So that gets a zero. So yeah, this is a bit of a disappointing box for me. Ooh, what are you thinking guys? Um, I mean, I can see quite a lot of people would like this box, but for me, no, this, this is not a win. This is not a win. Oh, okay, disappointed in that. Let me leave it with that. I'm just going to leave it like that. That's disappointing. So this box potentially has only got two points out of six. One, two, three, four, two points out of five. That's not good, is it? That's not good. All right, I will feed back and let you know next month how we got on, what got used and what has been given away. I'll let you know soon. So yeah, don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Please put your settings on public if you can. That makes things much easier, especially if you're entering my giveaways. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done, and press that subscribe button as you go out and that's it if you're going to enter my raffle on sunday good luck i think it should be quite fun all right guys see you later take care bye